Young Sasuke in the building, Young Wolf in the building, I'm feeling better. Wolf in the building, what you lot say, what you lot telling me, man, I hope everything blessed with you. But man, no football now until the end of August. The Euros have been tucked away, tucked to bed until 2024. You have a good rest because you gave us entertainment. Matt, listen, Euros gave us entertainment, gave us stress, gave us pressure, gave us intensity, gave us penal jests, gave us clams, DDTs, RKOs, choke slams, own goals, dead goals, meaty goals. Gave us everything you need in a tournament, man. Some highs, some lows, bars. Everything you needed in a tournament. The Euros gave to us this year, man, and most importantly, we had fans back, which is something I was looking forward to. I, I missed the fan, I missed a goal going in, and the fans cutting loose, just dashing beers, dashing bottles, choke slamming people. I missed everything. So, shout out to the Euros for the pure entertainment this summer, man. It was heavily missed, and um, everything happens for a reason, you know. The Euros, the, listen, COVID, you can still suck my right kneecap, but if the Euros happened last year, it wouldn't have been the same without fans, man. I'm happy it happened this year. I'm happy we had fans. I'm happy we had all the entertainment we had. And unfortunately, England came up short in the final, which is why I'm making this video. I see a lot of people pointing fingers at Gareth Southgate, and I think it's a little harsh because how do you tactically set up against a side that is unbeaten in 34 games? You can't. Not even a whole Spain could be Italy, a team that talks about some. If they don't have the ball, they can't win. That team there couldn't be Italy and you expected a whole England to be Italy. You was joking. You were joking. Back when we saw the first opening game of the Euros, Italy versus, I can't even remember who it was, Turkey it was, I think. And they got smacked about. And everybody said from that game, Italy might win the Euros or Italy are going to win the Euros. Doesn't matter who was in the final, you said Italy were going to win the Euros. And then it was England that got to the final and you expected England to be a whole team that's unbeaten in 33 games going into that game. You were joking. You were joking. I know there's faith. I know there's belief. I know there's support in your nation, support in your club. But sometimes you have to be realistic. England weren't winning that game. Tactically, Gareth Southgate did what he was supposed to do. I was tweeting about this game on my Twitter. If you're not following it, link in the description. Or just, you know, it's on the screen somewhere. And I basically called out everything that was happening in this game. And I said, Italy are going to be a problem after the 60th minute. Because I've been watching every single Italy game. And every single time it gets to the 60th minute, 60th to 70th minute, Italy just turn up. They're a team that take long to get into a game, but once they've settled into a game, the confidence is so high and political that they cause automatic stress. They've got the most experienced and most legendary partnership right now in football at the back in Chiellini and Bonucci. Then they've got wingers in Insigne and Chiesa who are just not afraid to take on defenders. Then they've got a striker in Immobile who on his day is problematic. And then they, in my opinion, they've got the most perfect midfield in Barella, Jorginho and uh, Verratti. They're a team that is just complete. Like they have everything you need in a football club. And the longer it takes for, for a team to cause damage on Italy, the better they get. And that's what we saw throughout the whole tournament. And that's what we saw happen with England. England took the game to Italy, which is what they were supposed to do, caught them off guard, applied stress for 45 minutes, couldn't get the job done. And by job done, I mean England should have scored at least two or three goals. Gone into the second half now, and what do England typically do in every single game? Shut down in the second half. What happened? They shut down in the second half. What happened? England, uh, Italy got better. And then you know what happened next. Italy scored. It was pretty much Italy for the rest of the game. I think Italy ended the game with 67% possession. The story speaks for itself. England didn't deserve to win the game. Point blank period. Now, if we're talking about the penalties, I see a lot of people, again, pointing fingers at Gareth Southgate. He openly admitted that he was the one that made the decision for who was going to take what penalty and what order, etc, etc. It's tough, man. Now, I'm someone that believes that penalties are just luck. Um, because no matter how much you practice, the weight of the occasion, the pressure, the booze, the fans, the heat, anything, just the, the, the most minimal thing can sway you off a penalty. Kane missed a penalty in the last game. Yes, he scored, but he missed the actual 
neutral penalty. I don't care how old you are, I don't care how experienced you are, Jorginho missed a penalty in that penalty shootout. Penalties are just luck, in my personal opinion. I know someone's gonna say in the comments, oh, you have to prepare mentally and, you know, bro, forget the mental preparation, forget the the, the amount of times you, you practice your penalties. Anybody can miss on any day. I do, however, feel for Saka. I really do feel for Saka. A 19-year-old kid taking the fifth penalty, the biggest penalty, having seen Sancho and Rashford just miss. It must have been stressful, man. That must have been... Bro, I can't even imagine it. I can't even imagine it. And my heart goes out to Saka right now. But honestly, watch this space because situations like this will change young men like Rashford and Sancho they will change kids teenagers like Saka they will make them better players Saka's going to come back this season and be a problem this man is going to fear nothing he's going to fear no one and I promise you now if if you know his mental is how I think it is he is going to take football by the throat and cut loose this is not the end of Saka. This is just the beginning. This is something that happened in his career that is going to make him a better player than he already is at 19. I'm telling you, Saka's going to be good. Sancho's going to be good. Rashford's going to be good. Fuck the racial abuse. I'm saying the F word live on air on YouTube. Fuck the racial abuse. You lot can suck my right kneecap. I'll talk about that in another video. But as for football, in football, them three are going to be better than ever next season. Watch this space. Overall, it was just one of those games. Um, it reminded me of those FIFA games against your friend where you do everything you can. They do everything they can. You have some momentum. They have some momentum. It goes into extra time. Goes into penalties. Someone says, oh, you won the game by luck, but GG's. That's what the final was to me. But let me know how you felt about the final in the comment section down below. Uh, let me know about your thoughts on Gareth Southgate. Let me know your thoughts about the entire tournament. Overall, like I said, I thoroughly enjoyed the Euros. I think it was, um, you know, I've never really been one to actually watch a Euros. I prefer the World Cup. So I'm very in tune with the World Cup. When it comes to the Euros, I'm kind of like, eh. Like, I don't remember what happened in the last Euros. But this Euros, to me, was fantastic. Everything we needed. Um, shout out to Christian Eriksen. You know, we've seen that he's doing good now. He's doing better. So shout outs to him. Um, wishing him a speedy recovery. And if he chooses not to continue playing football after this incident, wishing him the best of luck. Um, Italy, congratulations. You've shown why you are you were unbeaten going into this game in 33 games. And why you're now unbeaten in 34 games. You've shown us why you are the real deal in international football. And, you know, it's just nothing but respect. Um, England, this won't be your last final. I'm telling you. This team is too talented and too young for it to be England's last final. They will be in more finals. Gareth Southgate led England to the World Cup semi-final and he took England to the Euro final. There will be another final and that final will win. Situations like this change a team. They change players for the better. I'm telling you, everybody going to be good. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below and I'll catch you guys for another video. Take care of yourselves. Peace.